Hey y'all, I just wanted to shoot another quick little video here while I'm filling up the water. I wanted to, to tell you this is my Americana girl. This is the girl that lays me the blue eggs. And I don't know if you can hear that. One of the ducks is over there. She's back washing and you can hear her. It's almost like she's blowing bubbles in the water as I fill the water up. Um, that beautiful, beautiful girl is an Australorp. <laughs> and those fluffy little bottoms are enjoying their cracked corn and oats. I got a five-way scratch for them because my feed store was actually out of feed. Um, and that's another thing I wanted to hop on here real quick and talk to you about. In the winter time, I do actually try to feed a scratch grain. A lot of times I will mix it with their... Uh, regular feed because you don't ever want you don't ever want uh, scratch grains to be a hundred percent of their diet at least not for more than a few days anyway um, you can do scratch grains and oatmeal and mealworms and all of those high protein sorry I'm blocking the blocking the door um, but you don't ever want to do those for more than a couple of days. The high protein treats, they heat up their bodies. So I don't feed those usually in the summertime. It's usually reserved for the colder months, the colder days. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we had some really cold weather. It was in the 40s during the day and low 30s, high 20s at night um, for about a week. And so that's about the time that everything got really wet and they weren't laying very much. So I actually bought cat food scratch grains and oatmeal and mixed that all in with their food cleaned out the coop by the time i got all that done it actually turned out to um be a little bit warmer <laughs> so the combination of the warmer weather i can go back down and get the eggs the combination of the warmer weather and the higher protein content in their feed St they started laying eggs more. Now, I will say, too, that next year I do not expect these birds to lay eggs probably from October, November through all the way through probably January, February. These girls will probably not lay or will lay very few eggs. Typically, the first year they'll lay straight through winter. The second year they'll go into a molt late fall, mid to late fall. And then while they're rebuilding those feathers that they molt, they'll stop laying because they need the protein for their for building their feathers. So, um, and again, that's when I will go in and I'll increase their protein load. Um, I'll give them cat food, oatmeal, mealworms, and scratch grains. One of the things with scratch grains is that usually contains oats but it also contains corn and the corn helps them stay warm in winter um, it needs to be cracked or sprouted corn for them to be able to digest it better um, they cannot digest whole corn so it either has to be fresh kernel corn or it needs to be if it's dried corn it needs to be cracked um, or it needs to be sprouted and to sprout it takes three to five days in a really warm environment it's kind of a pain if you watch justin rhodes he's kind of going through that right now with his feet because he ordered the wrong feed so he's actually having to go through that whole business of trying to sprout his his corn because he doesn't want to have to he doesn't want to have to grind it uh, and you guys can say hello to the puppies they are having a fabulous time outside today in the gorgeous weather while mommy's out taking care of the chickens. So, yeah, there's a little bit more of an update. Two videos in one day. How about that? I haven't shot a video in weeks and weeks and weeks. And then I give you guys two in one day. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed these updates. I will see you guys again hopefully very soon. I will try to make it not so long between videos and i'll catch you guys on the next one thanks for joining love you guys bye